guys, today I'm gonna to do a dyno test with VVTi on an ECU Master EMU Classic. The idea is to get some base numbers with uh, VVTi, everything, I just finished tuning the car, and then we're gonna turn VVTi off, and then turn it back on, and then check the difference in horsepower. Let's get to it. First things first, what we're working with. This is a um, NA2J cylinder head with a forged bottom end. The turbo is a 3076. Uh, it's got this giant intake manifold, um, stock cams, stock NA cams, um, and the pistons are 10 and a half to one, and it's on ethanol. So that's all that's going on here. This is running uh, just under one bar of boost, so like about 14 pounds. And it, like I said, it's an EMU Classic. Uh, we just made 420 horsepower, so uh, let's run it and get some numbers. All right, so here's the VVTi map that we're gonna use. You can screen capture that and use it if you want to copy this. Um, I've done some significant tuning on this at this point, and this is about the best, uh, best I've got. So uh, we're going to start with this. We'll do a baseline pull, and I'll show you the numbers from that. Let's go. We got 419 horsepower and 358 torque. So let's go to our graph. And I'll show you guys this side by side when we get to that point. Engine speed, and we got nothing to compare it to right now. But we started about 2,000 we'll start our run at. It's a little bit little bit wiggly at the bottom. There's a nice smooth, uh, smooth chart going up. Let's see it. 4,000 RPM, we had 245 foot-pounds, 186 horsepower, 3,000. 182 foot-pounds, 100, 103 horsepower, just to give you guys some reference. 4,500, it's making some power. There's 290 foot-pounds, 250, 246 horsepower. And then 5,000 RPM, 340 torque, 324 horsepower. We'll come in here to our map. We'll take our VVTi map, select the whole thing, make it zeros, boom, boom, zero. Zero it across the board, and we'll do another pull. So our numbers, our numbers ended up about the same, but let's watch our uh, let's watch our graph here. So we want to compare the newest one to the oldest one, and then go by engine speed. Boom. Now let's look at some numbers here. So you can see right about 5,500. It doesn't make a difference. So from 5,500, it's about the same. It's when you get lower. Well, let's make some comparisons here. What I've got pulled up is uh, our very first run, which was with the VVTi map, and then our second run, which was everything zeroed out, basically turned off. It's the same as if you were to unplug the VVTi. Um, for reference, our scale here is zero to 500, both horsepower and torque. Um, our yellow is torque, and the green is horsepower. So let's start at 2,000 RPM. This will show the difference. So our first one at 2,000 RPM, we had a difference of plus 18 torque and plus seven horsepower. At 2,500 RPM, here we are. We had a difference of plus 13 horsepower and plus six torque. Of course, the uh, the higher ho horsepower and torque numbers were with VVTi active. At 3,000 RPM, we had plus 13 torque and plus eight horsepower. At 3,500 RPM, we had plus 22 torque, 
plus 15 horsepower. And then here at 4,000, looks like our highest gain of, there we go, um, plus 27 torque and plus 20 horsepower. Very impressive, as uh, Project Farm says, very impressive. 4,500 RPM, we gained uh, 24, horse, 24 torque and 21 horsepower. And then by the time we got up to 5,000, the gains were not as noticeable because that's when the VVT starts to taper off. And uh, the boost takes over. We had plus 10 horsepower and plus 10 torque. So very, very, very significant gains. Um, I didn't expect to see that much. So this will kind of tell you the difference of what you can gain from VVTi. Obviously that additional torque at the low end is gonna spool your turbo a lot quicker, which is what VVTi is designed to do. It's designed to give you uh, more torque at lower horsepower, which if you have a boosted car, that's gonna bring your turbo online a lot quicker. Um, now let's make a comparison of our VVTi map to our plus 30, where we just maxed out the VVTi all across the board. Let me pull that up. All right, I'm gonna try one more test, which is to take this entire map and put 30 degrees across the board. Well, except at idle. So we'll just max it out at 30 degrees and we'll see what kind of numbers we get. Let's do one more test. Peak horsepower dropped by 25 horsepower or more, up to 30 horsepower. And I uh, can't remember what the torque was. Now we can compare all three of these maps. Let's uh, let's go overlay all these and we'll and we'll talk about it. Okay, so um, this is the difference between uh, my VBTI map and then literally just maxing it out plus 30 across the board. And I'm actually really impressed here. This actually makes me go back and look at uh, my own map, and I made some changes to it. I'll show you that in a second. But let's start at the bottom end. 2,000 RPM, not much difference. It's pretty close to the same. 2,500, really close to the same, maybe one or two horsepower difference. When we get to 3,000, that's when we have a difference of you know three to four horsepower and three to four torque. 3,500, um, we, we, uh, we gained five torque and three horsepower. 4,000, we gained uh, 10 horsepower and eight torque. 4,500, is when things really changed. Um, we gained uh, 17 torque and 15 horsepower. And then 5,000 also had a gain of 12 torque and 11 horsepower. And then interestingly enough, at 5,500, we had zero gain, zero loss. So that seems to be, and, and 5,500 is actually where uh, torque and horsepower cross naturally, 54 something. But that's, that's right in that range where the torque and horsepower always cross. Um, and that's where we had no gains at all. Now above that, interestingly enough, we start to lose torque and horsepower. So at 6,000, we lost nine horsepower or nine torque and eight horsepower. Now at 6,500, this is really interesting. We lost 27 torque and 22 horsepower. And at 7,000 at Redline, we lost 29 torque and 22 horsepower. And this was at 30 degrees advanced intake cam. Um, so this actually made me go and look back. I have a lot to gain between about 3,500 and 5,500 in that range. I actually gained quite a bit. So I went back to my table on my ECU. And uh, if you screenshotted the original one, you could screenshot this one also. But basically I went to wherever we gained the most torque and I added a bunch of timing up here. So I'm gonna go do one more poll and kind of make sure that this is good so I can leave this, save this as my final map. But uh, some very, very interesting results on this one. This is gonna be our final run. We're gonna compare the, uh, the our base map to our, our new uh, uploaded cam timing map. So hopefully we see gains in the middle like we saw uh, in the comparison.
All right, guys, last night we had a little technical problem with the alternator, so now we're going to finish our last run today, which is um, our modified VVTI map versus the original one we started with. So uh, I think we have a little bit to gain in the mid range. Let's do a pull. Power's been pretty consistent between 400 and 420 in there, but I'm more curious in the mid range. So let me pull this up and we'll look at the graph. All right, so this uh, did about what I expected to, um, or expected it to. Right about 3,500, we started to see gains of like six, seven horsepower and torque, but really at uh, 45 is where it made the biggest difference. What is that? Uh, 17 horse and 19 torques yeah that's really impressive and then it kind of came back about 5500 it got back to zero but we really we, we had some significant gains right there in the middle so uh, i'm gonna leave it like that so i actually learned something and applied it taste closed thanks for watching guys if you like the video please go check out our merch store and uh give us some support and uh drop a like and subscribe if uh if you want to support the channel and we'll catch you in the next video bye